Welcome back to the build, another early morning. Today is drywall day, we're gonna start hanging. And we're going to start upstairs, hanging the ceilings, move on to the walls, and then hopefully by afternoon, we're on the first floor, at least getting the ceiling started, if not the walls. These guys are pretty fast, pretty good. You know, a couple of these guys can sling these 12 foot, 5 8 sheets around and get them zapped up into the ceiling faster than I can figure out how to get it put up on a lift. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that uh, turns out. This episode is sponsored by Policy Genius. Let's get to work. Closet number one is done. Unfortunately, his helper didn't show up. He was supposed to show up at lunchtime, so he did all this and the other closet by himself, which is probably still more than I could get done in a day. Using all 12 foot long sheets results in fewer seams and butt joints that have to be matched, taped, mudded, and sanded during the finishing process. These are heavier and more challenging to move around and get into position, but as you may have seen in the previous video, that's where the delivery and stocking process is a lifesaver because the drywall supplier stages the correct size and number of sheets in each room so your installation goes much smoother. I'm also glad I decided to put up the 1x4 strapping on these upstairs ceilings. This provided for fastening every 16 inches instead of every 24 inches, which makes a noticeable difference if you're using heavy 5 8 sheetrock on the, on the ceilings. It helps take bowing and waviness out of the finished job, and typically the ceilings are where you notice it the most because of how the light hits it.
I should take a little break and talk about today's sponsor, Policy Genius. So if you have family members who rely on your income to support them, then you need life insurance. Especially if, like me, your work can get you into some rather risky situations. I mean, let's face it, construction can be inherently dangerous. And coincidentally, we were talking, Jamie and I were talking about possibly getting some coverage in case something happened, and that's about when Policy Genius approached us to possibly do a sponsored video, so we thought, that's a great fit. So why is buying life insurance so complicated? The Policy Genius asked themselves that same question. They ended up starting a whole company and reinventing the process from start to finish. Policy Genius is an insurance marketplace, not an insurance company. And now you could save up to $1,300 a year or more by using Policy Genius to compare life insurance policies. So go to their website and in minutes you can start working out how much coverage you need and compare personalized quotes to find your best price. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. I found their website very easy to use and it only took a few minutes to get things started and having the coverage I need gives me peace of mind knowing everyone would be taken care of if something were to happen. Visit policygenius.com slash Gilbrook Farm to shop the market and start saving today. Or just click the link below in the video description.
One thing about a drywall crew, they're here to get the sheetrock on the wall as quickly and accurately as they can. So you better have all your walls and ceilings and openings ready and figured out. Being on site during installation is helpful to catch any minor hiccups. For example, I had also left the trim ring on the washer box and they put sheetrock right over it. But luckily I was right there and we were able to back out a couple screws, pull the panel off the studs enough to remove the trim ring. And I mean, if I hadn't been there, I would have never noticed that until we went to install our washing machine after the whole house was finished. Well, that was a long two days of 15 hour days, but they managed to get this whole house sheetrocked in a day and a half to two days. And they did a very good job. I've checked all the joints, all of the making sure there aren't any missing lights or switches or outlets. They hit all of those. Everything looks good and we're ready to mud and tape. Uh, I was really impressed. They managed to just bang this whole house out in like two days. There's no way I could have done that definitely worth hiring a pro. So like I said, we're ready to mud and tape, but I have a lot of trash we need to get rid of, more so than I anticipated. This stuff does create a lot of waste. Trying to make uh, as few joints as possible that need to be mud and taped. Sometimes it just makes sense to do a whole sheet where instead of piecing it all together, so you do go through a lot more 
doing it that way, but it's worth it in time and money. Uh, so I'm gonna save as many of these pieces as I need for things like repairs and whatnot. We're gonna chuck the rest, get all of this cleaned up and ready for mud and tape. And that'll be in the next video. Uh, I wanna thank again, Policy Genius for sponsoring today's episode. And I especially wanna thank those of you who participated in our Be A Part Of The Build campaign where we had messages written all over the walls, if you saw that. That campaign is now over because the walls are covered and those messages are now part of this house forever. Uh, if you wanna see the messages, uh, they're still available on our website, guild, guildbrookfarm.com. There's a little montage in there. There's a link to it. Uh, so you can go see those at any time. But uh, going forward, that campaign's closed. Again, we appreciate you all participating in that. Next video will be mudding, taping, finishing drywall, getting it ready to prime and paint. And then uh, we'll be moving on to hopefully building the porches outside. So we'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you watching.